most people in America are familiar with women's rights and the condition and level in which they're in. We also have to go to the reality check that most men are the breadwinners of a coupled family again and again. This may not always be true. In the case of a sibling, I know that it can be untrue and that his marvelous wife is actually a higher earner than him as a vice president of a bank in the world. And openly, while I can talk about that placement, I can also talk about the lies that men tell themselves about how low that they can play themselves to require their wives to produce an income as a part of their family. But what I can tell you the most about is how immoral both sides can be in their micromanagement of the other gender. You see, what I can see about Americans a great deal of late in the lack of quality television and movies coming out to date is that while we might be concerned with a third world world third world war coming or a civil war of anti-racism and ethnocentricity abridging us i can tell you that while i might make mistakes in vocabulary out of the kindness of a black man who pounded me in the face and stomped on the back of my head basically breaking the back of my skull in his idea of what is and isn't okay in racism today to an elderly gentleman who has now been impacted by that attack that I can tell you that it doesn't really matter whether or not the man is white or black what we do know is that people who are educated and moral do not abuse other people people who are undereducated and immoral do abuse people the color of the race the creed the tribe doesn't matter abusers are abusers Users are users, and loving people show kindness. 